My name is Mark Angelo Harrison. I'm a graphic artist working with SB23. At the moment I'm working in Berlin on a new project. I've called it Cult of Signs. concept behind the cult of signs? Well, I suppose that's just shorthand for something that's quite complicated and stretches right back across the history of me working for Spiral Tribe and SP23 doing the graphics for the publicity, the posters, website and of course uh, the decor, the sort of general styling, which again are, are mutations and just giving it space to evolve and seeing what can happen and allowing it and yourself to flow with it, change your mind about things. Experiment. Explore and experiment. Exploring things, exploring space, exploring new ideas, putting different elements together, recombining things, and finding completely new directions. And for me, certainly, you know, that really fires my pleasure centers. And then the result is something that might be quite abstract, a construct, this idea of the cult of signs, but something that definitely resonates in this interesting language. It seems to be a kind of pure form, kind of beyond language, and as I say, kind of in the realm of, of music, and just developing and letting things mutate, and then sort of following geometric lines or discovering geometric points that are kind of invisible, but are actually there, you know, mathematically they're there. And tweaking it and jiggling it, evolving it, until something resonates. That's a real combination of, you know, natural influences in your environment and in nature kind of pure maths. When I go to bed and close my eyes, I actually see new geometries just sort of floating around in front of my eyes. Not dreams, actual patterns on the retinas seem to suggest themselves. Everything resonates and you know you got it right. Well, not necessarily even right, but it works. It's got a vibration 
and that vibration says something. And that's when I go for the design and think, right, that's the one, let's go with that. You know, the, the, the experimentation and the exploration is all about searching out dead ends. And as you mark in those dead ends, so you're sort of left with a really interesting map of the places you explored. And just because something became a dead end doesn't mean to say that it wasn't an important route to go and look at, because it all adds up to a sort of greater whole. And it's that, it's the, it's the uh, complete journey that's the really interesting thing. And that's where people can really connect with their own personal creativity. And I don't just mean creativity in that, you know, you are an artist, a musician, or you're good with words or whatever. You know, creativity is a, it's a really interesting thing. It spans all human uh, ability, really. And of course, it's a great pleasure to do that. You feel alive. This thing with ambiguity, it's, it kind of opens up a different space, just like the Free Party Movement, Spiral Tribe, and also the SP23 uh, dance music thing that we got going on now. The ambiguity allows space, not only for the person to think and make up their own mind about what it is they're experiencing, whether it's music and art or, or whatever, but also the actual piece of art itself. It's, it's got space to be able to be. And that's really where the idea of Cult of Signs came from, is to try and find that connection between all these abstractions, these undefined pictograms, these little patterns of resonance and try and describe what it is they mean not to me or any particular person but the effect of that questioning and that participation I think is quite revolutionary Wake up